Well, hello again. Okay, <laughs> this subject admittedly may be above my uh, knowledge pay grade, but here goes anyway. What we're dealing with here is the so-called metaverse and whether or not it is a good thing, but what is it? It's a virtual world entered through the use of virtual reality headsets and focused on social connection and in interaction. In many instances, users uh, design and employ a virtual representation of themselves called avatars. Kids are increasingly, and I'm afraid, obsessively inhabiting these worlds through games like Minecraft, uh, Fortnite, and World of Warcraft. Uh, I read recently about one nine-year-old kid who actually organized his birthday party in the metaverse, enthusiastically attended by many of his friends. So what is this all about, and is it a good thing, or is there a dark side to it as well? Well, as usual, I look at both sides. First of all, let's look at those who love the metaverse and believe that it's a good thing. It's uh, going to be of benefit to us all. <laughs> uh, well, most obviously, the metaverse uh, lends a whole new dimension to gaming. Uh, this can become a source of passion, involvement, and even all-consuming dedication. A new pastime with endless possibilities. As a consequence, uh, it's potentially of great benefit for those who cannot easily get out into the world. Uh, Shut-ins, those with agoraphobia, those who, for one reason, or social, social or psychological reason or another, simply do not want to leave their homes. It's a lifeline for such people, and there seem to be quite a lot of them. As an educational and training device, the metaverse is astounding. One has only to look at early technology like flight simulation as a way of training pilots. Microsoft's latest version of Flight Simulator is a hugely impressive depiction of the real world in which the virtual pilot interacts with bad weather conditions, emergencies, and other such challenges to demonstrate his, its flying skill. It's of use not only to entertain people, but to provide an important training and educational uh, resource. It also has a big future in medicine, uh, for example, in helping to train doctors. Today, we're going to show you how to repair a dodgy heart valve, that kind of thing. As in Flight Simulator, this kind of training can include all kinds of unanticipated obstacles and problems and train the fledgling doctor without uh, endangering a patient. In short, uh, the metaverse uh, represents a whole new world of experience, education, entertainment, and involvement in a myriad of activities with fellow participants from everywhere. Heightened experience. What could possibly go wrong? Well, uh, not everybody agrees, and there are plenty of people who think, think that things can go wrong. So I'll now state the case for those who believe that the metaverse is not necessarily a good thing. First of all, there are going to be privacy issues in that uh, the promised security, and uh, there are supposedly tremendous safeguards uh, in this uh, technology, I think it's quite likely to be uh, breached by determined criminals and even the marketers of unwanted consumer products. Many people hate the idea of big corporations making money out of something like this, so, so uh, uh, we can uh, expect uh, a great deal of uh, opposition from these quarters. Similarly, it's likely to be a haven for sex pests and violent abusers. There's, there's plenty of this now in the social media. But in the metaverse, the availability of tools of immersive experience are rendering this uh, space all the more dangerous. So, <laughs> it's hard to imagine what's going to be going on there. Next is the question of the awful effects of gaming addiction. Kids who spend all night in their computers because of the allure and intensive involvement engendered by this uh, technology. Not only can this disrupt lives, but it can even lead to physical weaknesses like obesity, cardiovascular deterioration, and other pathologies arising from staying in one chair for many hours at a time. Well, that's a 
pretty uh, tough set of particulars on why it's probably not a good idea. So what's my take? Uh, what, what do I think about all of this? Where is it headed and how should we think about it? Well, I think this is one of those technologies and even social movements that will inevitably become a huge part of many people's lives. And although there are going to be concerns and objections along the way and even efforts by governments to control and regulate this area, this phenomenon, I'm sure that nothing can stop it. Uh, Facebook is so convinced that this is the next big thing that they have actually renamed the company Meta. In fact, uh, they say they are budgeting billions to uh, invest in this area. So the answer is, uh, no, it may not necessarily be a good thing, but it behooves every thinking person, and especially every responsible parent, to understand this new world and to instruct their children accordingly. So beware, it's going to be tough. Uh, there it is, I hope you like that, even though it's an uncomfortable subject, but it's one we really have to deal with. So if you did like it, please do the usual uh, Give me a, a like, a subscribe, a notify, comment, and so forth, and I'll see you again soon. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.